Hello everybody, this is uh, an Agris T30 drone. We just took it out of the box. The drone comes with the pumps that they are under here, already fully assembled. Now the drone is folded. All you need to do is to just unfold it, activate the remote controller of the drone and the drone. As you can see, there are some accessories that they come with Agris T30. This is the remote controller for the drone. The external battery for the remote controller, the charger for the remote controller battery, the external one, because the remote controller has an external battery and an internal battery. So it always uses this external battery first. When it runs out of that, it will start using the internal one and you can charge the external battery. To charge the internal battery, you want to connect the USB-C uh, cable that comes with the drone here and uh, start charging the internal battery. There are some other accessories, a screwdriver and uh, cables that come with the drone. And the dongle that is like, for example, if you wanted to add a SIM card to your drone, it's not necessary, but you could put a SIM card into the dongle and use the data of that to have internet on your remote controller. The dongle is required for activation of the drone and uh, we will show you that. This is the user manual and quick start of the Agris T30. The nozzles and nozzle clips, 16 of them are there. They will be assembled on these ends. There are 16 of them on the T30. So we will go ahead and show you how to activate the remote controller first. So at this part, we want to uh, activate the remote controller. To turn on the remote controller, like any other DJI device, we press once and press and hold. Mm -hmm. This right here shows you what is the status of the battery, two bars. So you can choose the language that you would like to use on your remote controller here. If you chose a different language down the road, you can change it again. So next, terms and use privacy policy. You need to agree to that. You will turn on the Wi-Fi. And you will now that we are connected to a Wi-Fi uh, we can choose the region that we are in for example we are in California Riverside California so we will choose Pacific time you will need to check the date and time is correct then you will press next you confirm the date and time and then you will insert your uh, email that you use to, for other DJI devices if you have one. If you don't have one, you can create an account with DJI. You can use any email that you have and uh, create an account. So I will insert support at talosdrones.com. If you have any questions, you can contact this email as well. Then now we activate the remote controller under this account. You can either choose join the product improvement project or press not now. To use this remote controller for DJI Agris T30 or T10, you will need to choose DJI Agris app. Always, you will be using the same app. Here are more terms of use. I agree to that. We will need to turn on the, these um, 
uh, authorizations because the drone and remote controller will need to know the GPS location of the devices. Then here you can choose the country that you will be operating the drone in. If you receive an error, like such area does not match positioning, cloud services may be affected. You can confirm that. And now your uh, remote controller is activated. So here I would like to show you how to insert an external battery into the remote controller. And you can see the battery is full. There is a button here, you press that. And then you will put your battery here, push, and then a slide up. And you can close it, now the external battery is connected. External battery inserted. So the next step for activating the drone is to put the T30 battery in the battery compartment and turning on the battery. So I will go ahead and show you how you can insert a battery in a T30. This is where the connector of the battery will connect to. You will just put the battery here. It will slide in. You want to make sure to press the front of the battery, both sides of it, down to hear a clicking sound like that. Now your battery is secured in place. To turn on the battery, you will press once and press and hold. Now you're good. Your drone is on. So. So the drone is uh, going to link to the remote controller automatically but if it didn't you will need to go to the settings and uh, uh, to the remote controller category press the linking button press and hold the power button on the drone's battery for about six seconds and the drone will be linked to the remote controller but usually like when you receive a new drone the remote controller is already linked to your uh, drone so now over here, uh, we can see if we go to this drone symbol, so we ignore that for now, if we go to this drone symbol, you have the option to activate your aircraft. You can see here, I pressed activate aircraft. And then now it requires us to insert the dongle that comes with the drone to the remote controller at the bottom of it. So I will go ahead and show you that. So now this here is the dongle. It comes with the drone, it's uh, in the box of the drone. So you can take it out like that. This end is just a cap, so you need to remove that. And it looks like a USB. You don't need to put uh, a SIM card on it to activate your drone. However, if you would like to do so, you can uh, open it and insert the SIM card here. But for now, I didn't put a SIM card on it. I just inserted it down there. And here, you pull it down. This is the part that the USB goes, I mean the dongle. When it's red, it means that it's not connected to the internet or a cellular network. I didn't even put a SIM card on it, so it's not going to be connected. But if I had a SIM card on it, after uh, about like 20 seconds, it would turn blue. For now, as you saw, the remote controller's screen went down, uh, like went black, 
and I just pressed this button, it came back up. It's for saving battery. So I will put this bottom part back just like that. And now here I press OK. And one more time I will show you how I got to this page. Over here, there is a drone symbol. I clicked on that. And here I press activate. And this time it started the activation process because the dongle is there. Terms and policy, I agree to that. Next, privacy policy. I agree to that as well, and next. Support, support at talosdrones.com is our email account and the account that we use to operate a drone. Next, in the United States, we want to use the mode two. That is important because if you choose a different mode, the way that you will be flying or the way that these sticks work or function would be different. So you want to keep it as mode two if you are in the United States. You will name your air aircraft. Talos Drones T-30. Yes. And yes. Successfully activated. After the activation, you will need to log in to your account once again by inserting the password here. And now your drone is activated and your remote controller is activated but you still see activate aircraft here. You will need to turn off your remote and drone and turn them back on. To turn it off, I just press once and press and hold again. And for the drone, I will do the same. I'll press once, press and hold. The drone is off. Press once, press and hold to turn it back on. Now you can see the activate aircraft button is gone and you have two options, plan field and execute task and you are set and your drone is activated.